Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin stream. Tonight's episode is all about group buys that are starting and ending for the upcoming seven day time period. So welcome, everyone. Let's see who is here tonight. I see a Raz 1023, a Sean Buller, Bacon and Tuna, Kangpa 84. Thanks, guys, for joining in. And as usual, what is Merlin drinking? Something a little different tonight. Though, of course, you guys have seen it all on stream before. This is a Bundaberg ginger beer from Australia or from your local Costco. Whichever is closer to you, I guess. <laughs> and guess what? I learned how to open it this time. You guys remember the first time I tried to open it? I was trying to, like, you know, use a use like a regular bottle opener, but apparently it's just peel off like that. Pretty cool. First time or the only the only bottle that I've seen utilize this mechanism. <laughs> Let's see, I see a couple more people coming in. Dog hair don't care, Dragstar, and bacon and tuna. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. Alright. Hopefully everyone is doing good tonight. It's gonna be a shorter stream again. We've only got Let's see, let me count this. We've got one, two, three. We've got about six group buys ending and about six starting as well. Of course, I probably missed quite a few, so I will be relying on you guys, you guys right there to help me out here at the at the tail end of the show. Let's see, Haptax says, hey Merlin, hello to you too. Same to you, Zach Keys and Paul Cheston. Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to try my best not to finish this drink before I'm even halfway through the show. So here we go. Here we go. For all of you guys new here, the format of this particular show is that I will talk about group buys that are ending, starting with keycaps, followed by keyboards. Then I will talk about group buys that are starting, also keycaps and keyboards. And then at the end, I'm like, all right, guys, help me out here. I probably missed a few. So before we start, let's turn on some music. Music, let's see. Which playlist should I use tonight? Oh yeah, my wife helped me out with some. Let's see, this one, yeah, this one's got nine tracks, 30 minutes. Oh, sh sure, let's try this. Let me know, guys, what you think about this playlist. She, she titled this one, Happy and Hopeful. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me up the music a little bit. And here's the first song. All right. Hopefully that's not too loud for all of you guys. All right. Let's see. Let's start off with the very first item in our list. Here. I'm kind of changing up how this channel looks a bit. So hopefully this one's a little better looking. Boom. As you guys can see, the very first item on this list is from Dixie Mac. This one is GMK Pono. Um, you guys haven't been following along with this. This one, let's see, let's look at my notes. This one is ending this Friday, August 14th. Um, let's see, what can we find out about this? Uh, here in North America, pricing is $125 for the, for the base kit and $50 bucks for the novelty set without this is what you get for your base kit looks like there's complete coverage so not bad novelties you get a few cats right here very cool um, you also have the option to get Rama caps I feel like every key set these days has these Rama cap options uh, let's see the gray kitty costs 38 bucks and the gold geo kitty costs 56 bucks um, there's also some desk pads available for 17 bucks each and let's see so one thing I noticed today that I've never noticed before if you guys look at the at the pricing here at the bottom at the very bottom here there's pH pH stands for the Philippines as some of you know I am Filipino and I'm from the Philippines <laughs> yeah I was just looking at this price and I'm just like Holy crap, 7,190 pesos is a lot of money there. So I'm just like, that's, that's, that's like rent. That's, that's like you're paying rent to buy a keycap set. And I'm like, holy cow, I'm so thankful that 
you know that there that there are people like me and there are people like you who are able to buy key sets every month and I, I guess it just seeing seeing that actual number right now just reminded me of stuff to be thankful for I guess <laughs> now let's see what are people saying here static age says some are going with Salvin caps hidden songs says great key has sold more than the entire set <laughs> Paul Cheston was born in the Philippines too, but been in Cali most of his life. 140 USD, hello from Davao. Well guys, thanks for joining in. Thanks for supporting the stream. All right. Yeah, and I will always have to say this, since this is a GMK set, please, 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 please keep in mind, and I think my music's a bit too loud here. Keep in mind that because this is a GMK set, expect delivery to be sometime next year this time <laughs> yeah SSBM says hey Merlin music is a bit loud ah okay yeah this is a new this is a new playlist so let me know what you guys think is Pono Olivia plus plus no it is not <laughs> okay next one up next one up is something on drop here we go this is Undrop. If you guys don't know who Drop is, Drop's was formerly known as Mass Drop, a, I think one of the first legit group by runners in our community. So check this out. Let's let's see what they have here. Look at all this. This is an SA set, but it's not SA from Signature Plastics. It's it's a whole lot cheaper. You can actually get the whole kit here. Let's see this. The all-in-one for 110 bucks. That is cheaper. That's about like 110 bucks would get you maybe the TKL of a Signature Plastics SA set. BRB Toast subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. All right. Yeah, it's so you, you've got alpha alpha kits going for 30, modifiers going for also 30, numpad going for 20. Mod Plus, so, so many kits. Lots of things going for 30 here. Numpad going for 20. Mod Plus, so many. Oh, here we go. Alternate colors are going for 18. ISO going for 16. Very cool, yeah, there's just so many here. Space bars for 10, that's, that's awfully cheap for SA space bars. Not bad. And last one, you also have a gaming space bar. Why is it called a gaming space bar? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's 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 look at that. Six point five U. Oh, I see. It's called gaming because it's for Corsair and Razer. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> gaming caps are for Corsair and Razer. But yeah, check this out, guys. Um, delivery date for this is actually this year, November. November 2020. So if you're looking for a PBT or if you're looking for an SA set, I mean, this might be the set to get. But keep in mind, you got until August 14th. That is Friday, August 14th to purchase this or to to pre-order it. Very cool. Very cool. Let's see. Jomi says, where is the RGB? Because it's a gaming space bar. <laughs> Fits their weird optical caps, special size. Good job, Corsair. Pretty cool. All right, next one up is another GMK set. Here we go. This one is from Project Keyboard, GMK Sumi. GMK Sumi is ending this Saturday, August 15th. So you can get the base. Let's see if I can get this correct. Here we go. You can get the base kit for 135 bucks. Um, which one's, which one's this? This one's the Hiragana for 70. You can get novelties for 56. Let's see, space bar for 35, 40s. Is this, yeah, this is the 40s kit for 43 bucks. And each of these dust mats are about 17. And as usual, there are Rama caps. Rama caps are 43 each. Let's see. Um, I think I, I think I said it last stream as well, but I'm probably gonna pick up these two dust mats right here and 
not for using, just because I feel like white tends to get dirty really easily. So I'm actually gonna use these as like, you know, I'm just gonna frame these up and hopefully I can put them on that wall right behind me. We'll see what, we'll see what I end up doing though. <laughs> All right, let's see. And I do have to re remind you guys since this is GMK, expect it to come sometime next year, sometime next summer. We'll see. <laughs> Jomi says, white dust mats one day clean. I know, right? Everyone's been loving Sumi dust mats. I think I think it's because they're so they're so artistic. See, if I could only buy one, I'd probably buy this one. This one right here. The tree. The one with the tree. And guess what guys? Those are the only three key sets that are expiring this week. I feel like that's a lot more manageable than having like seven of them. So yeah, question to the audience. Which of these three are you guys most interested in picking up? Once again, that's GMK Pono ending on August 14th. SA Damiki also ending August 14th. And GMK Sumi ending August 15th. Which, which of these three key sets are you guys most interested in picking up? Hassam Kim says, mats look good. Nice. If I had to pick, Finn Song says, Sumi. Jomi Carlos says, Pono. Team Sumi. Sumi. So many Sumis. Sumi. So much Sumi here. Pono plus plus. <laughs> Adventus says, I'd go for Sumi if I didn't go in on Vento. Um, yeah, that's 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 one of the reasons why I'm only doing the mats for Sumi because I'm definitely going in on Bento. Helping me says buy none of them. Use the money saved to buy all the Sumi dust mats. <laughs> Scott Water likes Sumi the best, but he's buying none. Maybe a mat. Panorama cap though. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Cool stuff right there. Let's see. Hold on here. Got the panorama cap. Yeah, I think let's let's go look at that again. I think I think that's something I would actually be interested into. Especially since it's the gray kitty. Looks cute. Zaki says I like Bento, but the color in person wasn't as nice as pictures. Um, I think I'm actually the other way around on that. Once I saw it, I thought it looked better than the, than the pictures. <laughs> but that's just me. That's just me. All right, let's see. Yeah, those are the three group buys, the three key set group buys that are ending. Let's move on to keyboard group buys that are ending. Here we go. The first one is from Caps Unlocked. This is the CU80 Round 3. So as you guys can see, the CU80 is a TKL board with a interesting side profile here, guys. Let's see. Hidden song says, make sure you're seeing a real Bento R2 in person. I don't think you'll see a real Bento, Bento R2 in person anytime soon. <laughs> but yeah, check this out, guys. This is a... What's the pricing for this? This is a $130 kit. Look at all that. Oh my gosh, look at that hole for the USB port. <laughs> oh, and interesting. It's in-switch RGB. Cool. So apparently it's almost one kilogram and you have several PCBs to pick from. You have, you have an ANSI and an ISO one. You can pick all your switches. You have optional stabilizers, GMK screw-ins for ANSI or for ISO, which is interesting because I think ISO, it's just one less to you, I think, because your left shift is goes from 2.25 to just, what, what is it, 1.25, then do you require an additional PCB? Yes for ISO, yes for ANSI, interesting. Yeah, this, I would say this is a rather 
budget TKL set. So if you're looking for something in the, in the $130 range, this might be the board to get. Um, does it support QMK? Let's do a quick search. QMK. Yep, there we go. The PCBs come with QMK loaded onto them. Very cool. So hopefully you can also get VIA on this when the, when the time is right. Hassam Kim says, low profile TKL feels cheap. I would have to agree with you on that. Pandaria says, would you rather have GMK camping or GMK bento? I would rather have both. <laughs> there we go. Give you guys another look at that. There we go. Low profile TKL and where's that side angle again? There it is. Hassam Kim says, seems better than drop control. For the price, I think it's better. All right, so once again, this one is ending this Thursday. Thursday, August 13th, and it is aiming to be delivered by... Uh, lead time, three months. So before the end of the year, I guess. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Next one up is the KBD fans, KBD 8X Mark II. If you guys watched some of my previous streams. I believe I built this for a customer and he had, I think there were creams on them and it sounded really, really good. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a, a better budget TKL and you've got, how much is this? About $300 to spend, notice that two 299.00 right there. This might be the board to get. You've got several options for colors. You've got rose gold. You've even got polycarb for a little bit more money. Check that out. Polycarb version actually doesn't look too bad. Very cool. You can do silver, deep blue, deep blue, dark green. Not bad. E white, black, gray, rose gold, and polycarb. All that good stuff. And you have the option for WKL. <laughs> Why is it called TKL? <laughs> That's so weird. But yeah, you guys have until August 15th to join this particular group by. Um, I had the opportunity to play with this for about a week and in my opinion, it's a pretty decent TKL. The only thing that really turned me off from this was the KBD fans QCing and no, I think that's just something that you have to accept. The customer who sent me his KBD 8X Mark II ended up having gouges, scratches, and chips all around his keyboard that he was forced to Cerakote it. Um, for $300, I would expect much better QC, much better finish on the board, but your mileage may vary. All right, once again, guys, this one ends August 15th. So that's this Saturday, and it goes for $299. Very cool. Let's see, next next up. Next up is also a TKL. I feel like all, all three boards I'm talking about are TKL this week. This one is the Volt 80 from Percent Studios. Let me grab a link for you guys. Here we go. This is the Volt 80 and it's the Casio version. And check out the price on that, guys. $429, quite, quite expensive if you ask me. Look at that. And is that not a key cult box? in the back <laughs> it is not a key cult board it is a percent studios board let's see percent casio very nice let's see any other photos of this there we go more photos cool i don't know what this back plate is there for it might just be for accent maybe maybe it's an accent plate I think it looks pretty good. Let's see, let's look at the specs here. You can choose various layouts. Key features, USB-C, Bluetooth, hot swappable, in-switch RGB LEDs, and high-end aluminum alloy. 
What does it mean? What does high-end aluminum alloy mean? I'm not too sure. But check it out, guys. It has a 4mm integrated plate. Um, integrated plate boards tend to not sound as good. And they're a lot stiffer. But this is I think this is the first time I've ever seen a 4mm integrated plate on any board. So this is going to be very interesting. See, it tells you you also have a middle frame, a base, an acrylic cover. PCB with kale hot swap sockets, 10 screws, and one packing box. I've never really seen a parts list on like a on like specs for a board where they specify the number of screws that are in it. <laughs> That's the Scott Water says. Mac Merlin, no QMK as far as I can tell. That is true as well. No QMK for this board. Help launch Bluetooth signals. <laughs> yes. Um, unfortunately, some translations are not quite correct for this. You just have to use your imagination. <laughs> uh, if you guys are interested in a board that looks like this and has Bluetooth, hot swappable, and a four millimeter integrated plate, and you have a cool 429 plus shipping to spare, this might be the board for you. Let's say, I think it looks really good. I've been a fan of like percent studio boards of like how they look. One thing I do have to say is I've not been a fan of percent studio PCBs. They have, they are missing a lot of quality there. Let's see, Scott Water says, Rama M60s have a five millimeter integrated plate. Ooh, I did not know that. Thanks for, thanks for telling me. All right. Yeah, guys, that's the end of the keyboard group ice for, for this week. So once again, what are you guys most interested in here? We've once again, we have the caps unlock TKL CU80. We have the KBD fans KBD8X Mark II. Lastly, the Volt 80 from Percent Studios. Which of these three TKLs are you guys most interested in? I'm curious. King Friday says none, literally none. Strong words. <laughs> I would have to agree with you. Static H says KBD 8X and Polycarb. Okay. 8X by far says helpingly. Helpingly, aren't you a mod on KBD fans? <laughs> Maybe a little bit of bias there. A little bit. <laughs> HTC Dragon says KBD 8X, but not looking for TKL. Ottoman says none. Janky Render says, why does it say Casio? Why does it say Casio? Maybe because it's the Casio version. Akip says, not only TKLs, but if I have to pick one, it'd be KBD 8X and PC. KBD 8X and PC. Jomi Carlos says KBD 67 V2 ending on. Really, is that another one? Okay, we'll, we'll cover that at the end. Yeah, out, out of these three TKLs, out of these three TKLs, I think I would be, like j just cause I've actually typed on it before and built it as well, that it's, check this out, that I like the KBD8X a lot. Um, as some of you know, I'm not a big fan of TKLs, so it takes a lot to win me over to use one. And not, not just because I was contractually obligated to test this out for like a customer, but I actually enjoyed typing on the KBD8X Mark II. So I think out of these three boards that we talked about tonight, I would pick this over, over the Bolt or the CU80. Korean Goo says, I want the key cult box. <laughs> yeah, that's like kind of weird how they showcase someone else's box. Here. There we go. They're showcasing someone else's box and logo. That's that's so obviously key cult. <laughs> All right. The bottle looks like a cartoon poison bottle. Ah, yes. If you guys want to know 
what I'm drinking, just do the exclamation point drink. But here, just give you guys a better look. Not gonna turn it over completely, but this is a Bundaberg ginger beer all the way from Australia or from your closest Costco, which is where I got it. I got a 12 pack of these, some of my favorite ginger beer. Though if you guys are ever in Seattle, if you guys are ever here in Seattle, Washington, there is a ginger beer bar of sorts called Rachel's Ginger Beer. There's one on Capitol Hill and I think there's one on University Village. So they're about like five miles apart, but they serve some of my favorite ginger beers and I'm glad that I found something relatively close. This one tastes good, but still not quite the same, but good enough. <laughs> And that is why I like ginger beer. Especially if you go to Rachel's Ginger Beer. Here, why don't we actually... Here, let me do this. Let me... I'm not sponsored by them, but I am a big fan. I'm a big... Every time I'm, I'm actually in Seattle, I drop by. Here we go. Look at that. Rachel's Ginger Beer. Handcrafted in Seattle. Um, Let's see. They have... Quite a few locations, if I remember correctly. I've only been to the 12th Avenue one, but I've never been. University Village is next to the to, to the famous university that's here. RGB at the Spheres. These are the Amazon Spheres, and of course they do Seattle del Seattle delivery and all that. But just to show you guys some of the stuff that's here, show me some pictures. I want some pictures. I guess. There we go, there we go, okay. So, um, every time I'm there, I like to pick up one of these kegs here. And my favorite so far has been the pineapple flavored one. Um, occasionally, I like mix them up as well. Let's see, you've got pink guava, which is also really, really good. Caramelized pineapple, which is my favorite. Um, the next one I like is the mango one and all that stuff. But if you actually go into their stores, they have so many different flavors. If you're ever here in Seattle, Washington, highly, highly recommend. And no, I'm not sponsored by them, <laughs> but maybe one day. <laughs> Hidden Song says the real question, is there alcohol in it? Yes, you can ask for alcohol. It is a, a bar sort of environment. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's talk about boards. Some group buys that are starting. Why don't we? Snordax says not sponsored. Of course I'm not sponsored by Rachel's Ginger Beer. One day, one day, we'll see. Here, let, let me get this ready for you guys. Okay, let's, let's talk about all the group buys that are starting. Okay. Look at my notes. What do my notes say? Okay, here goes. Very first item. Very first item that's starting this week is GMK Shoko. GMK Shoko, and it is a round two, but it's actually called something different. It's called Shoko Second Style. And it's not necessarily because he changed a bunch of things. It's just an homage to this K-pop group that does it that way as well. But yeah, this, let's see, Static says, says what a beautiful set. I totally agree. Short story, um, I fell in love with Shoko and then it, it came and went and I regretted it. And I wanted something like it. So I went for GMK Mizu. So with this coming around the corner, I'm going to have to jump in on this. <laughs> yes, I know I might be a little bit biased about the set, but yeah, it's round two. Um, most things are similar. You got your hiragana kit, you got your space bars kit, you got obscure kits. Look at all that. You got some renders. Let's look at the renders. That is a white fox t-shirt. That's really cute. <laughs> There we go. What board is that? Oh, the Molly. I see it now. Very cute. 
And that is one of Jay's boards, the J60, I believe. No, the, the J02. <laughs> I don't know his board names. Let's see, what's this? The Iron 165. Ooh, one of my favorite boards ever. Hmm, I have a gray iron, so I wonder if this would match well with it. Look at that. Very pretty. We'll definitely have to get this set. The 910. Very cool. What is this? Holy cow. What finish is that on the ANSI? That is bizarre. <laughs> bizarre indeed. HB60. Oh, it's probably just like the ice effect that, that they're putting on. Cool, cool, cool. Amazing pick from Emir. Oh, it's an actual pick. That is a very amazing pick. Yeah, I definitely need to get this board. Or this this key set, I mean. Left on the ocean ground for 60 years finish. Very expensive and luxurious. I wish, man. Totally wish. We'll update with more pictures when they are done. So this group by begins on August 11th that's what that's that's in two days that's in two days and it is going on sale at Kono, Ilum KB, Daily Clack, Prototypist and Desk Hero very cool um I believe these were the same people who ran it the first time around so there we go out of curiosity is anyone in chat here um did any of you get in on round one and if so, what was your experience with that? Let's see, collabs, nothing at the moment. Can I suggest something? No, you can't. <laughs> Sub legends. Nope, I think they feel too busy with a key set like this. Katakana, why second style? Oh, yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is how they named their versions. Copy pasta from R1. Interesting. All right, I guess no one else got got in on like round one. X bash has so this it's like December twenty twenty one. With so many GMK. Very cool. All right. Okay. Next one. Next set that I'll, that I'll be talking about is a set that previously ran in GMK. But, but it didn't go through and is now running in SA. Can anyone guess what set this is? Static Age says, so Merlin, you're lagging bad. Well, there's... Not much I can do about it. And that is really odd because I am. My stream's reporting pretty healthy. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. This is it. SA Rocket. This set formally ran on Project Keyboard as GMK Rocket, but it did not hit MOQ, or rather. It didn't seem like it, it was going to hit MOQ, so the designer pulled out and said, we are going to do this better next time. So here we go. Here we go. We have SA Rocket. This is a red, white, and blue set. I think people were people were joking when it first came out on, on, on like GMK that it was the Trump set. It was the, it was the MAGA set. <laughs> Hidden Song says, lag for about 20 seconds. That's interesting. All right, so this set, this set goes live on August 12th on the key.co. Don't really have too many prices for you guys, but I'm expecting it to be about 120 bucks. Um, as someone who's seen the renders of the GMK set, I'm, I'm going to say that the colors here look more vivid. They look more like they jump out at you more, which, which in my opinion, 
fits closer to the rocket theme, you know? So yeah, I think I think this one will do better than, than the GMK variant. Looks pretty good. Though, of course, I'm not a fan of SA, so I will not be purchasing this set. Helping Lisa, does it still come with that pretty lewd dust mat? Oh, I, I hope not. But look, what's this dust mat? What's what's this dust mat on the back here? <laughs> Let's see. In oh, interesting. It's in stock signature plastics color. So these these are not custom colors. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> So yeah, once again, this one goes live August 12th. And I think based on signature plastic times, if you were to purchase this, it might be delivered in March, I think. Maybe. We'll see. All right, next one. Next one is another key set. This one is Amalfi. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I know it's an English word. PBT Amalfi. Amalfi? Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully I am saying that right. It is based off, off of a city in Italy. Look, look at all those colors. It's It almost reminds me of GMK Deku, to be honest. <laughs> look at that. But doesn't that look like Deku to you guys? Like a low contrast deku <laughs> it's an italian deku <laughs> but yeah this guy starts on on like august 14th iwanu says the non-weave deku very interesting here let's 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 blow up some of these looks like it's pretty complete for a full keyboard 65s and 75s Let's see. Visit the islands off the coast to complete your board. All the ex extra kits and all that. Looks like you've got space bars, accent space bars, accent backspace, all that good stuff. Ooh, and novelties. Ciao! Ciao! See, I can't... Un Andiamo. <laughs> I might just get these novelties because these are pretty cool. <laughs> and keyboard vendors, of course. This one is on a satisfaction. No, wait. This is on an evolve. I love how, how like people are rendering it on boards that don't quite exist yet. But this looks really good on a polycar board. Look at that. JO2. Cool beans and on an Austin. Oh, that that dust mat looks pretty bomb. I'm gonna have to buy this dust mat. This is really cool. <laughs> Ciao for your escape key. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, yeah, I I really might have to buy this, guys. Look at that. It's on the Koyu. Helping Lee says, this set was designed by the guy who made the Evolve. Ah, makes so much more sense now. Look at these dust mats. Really pretty. Okay. So, if you're interested in the set, this set will sell on the key company, Desk, Desk Hero, Switch Keys, Prototypist, and Z Frontier starting August 14th, which is, what, I think that's Friday, right? That's Friday. And of course, there is a collab with Rama yet again. Look at that. That, that kind of looks like the target symbol, but with the center green instead of red. <laughs> there we go. Oh, look. It's in Italian. IC form, all that cool stuff. Yeah, this is, this is a set I would be most interested in. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, the next set. Actually, no, there is no next set that I know of. So we'll talk about these. These Shoko, SA Rocket, and PBT Amalfi. There we go. Let's talk about... No, oh, where'd my Shoko go? No, oh, anyway. 
What are you guys most interested in here? You guys most interested in Shoko, SA Rocket, or PBT Amalfi? Which one is the key set that catches all your attention? Hidden Song says, got that light bento vibe. Helping Lee says, buying Shoko for sure. I got you right there, man. I'm buying that. Fox says, none. Ewok says, Shoko. You're going to get Shoko for your first GMK set. That is a very wise decision. Shoko for show. <laughs> nice. Hey, I'm Panda says, Amalfi. Need less GMK set. That's true. Probably Shoko, Amalfi, because PBT... Cool beans. PBT Deku. <laughs> yes. I think every, everyone's just, just going to call it that. PBT Deku. Amalfi. Scott Water wants to try Infiniki. Shoko and Amalfi. Yeah. They look pretty good. It is not a surprise that SA Rocket is not too popular. Hidden Song says, So I have a beard. I'm constantly picking out long hairs from my keeb. Okay. TMI, but yeah. <laughs> and I just realized my 30 minute playlist playlist is now over. So let's pick something else. Let's uh let's go. Let's do let's make it relaxful. Let's do this one. There you go. This is the quote unquote massage playlist <laughs> see Karen Guru says any thoughts on the new GMK packaging and trays um I don't like them as much I had a customer ship a set to me and when I opened the box all the key sets are all, all, all of the keycaps just spilled out it's not as secure as the old plastic trays but it definitely makes shipping a whole lot easier Bacon and Tuna says, maybe just a desk mat for Amalfi. Very cool. Kajata says, Rocket. Ah, we have an SA fan here. Cool beans. All right, let's talk about some of the keyboards that are starting this week. Let's see. First one up. First one up is... This guy right here. This is the Kibi Stripe 60 case. I guess I'll I'll just post the geek hack link right there. There we go. That's the geek hack link, and the Imgur album is the one I'm going to show you right here. This is a 60% with a lip. You know, from like the top down, it looks like a poker with a weight. Yeah, check it out, guys. Here's the KB Stripe 60. Let's make it smaller so I can read the whole thing. Very cool. Um, angled, okay. You can see the seven degree typing angle featured with the Stripe 60. So the fact that they're calling it the Stripe 60, they should allow you to not just pay in PayPal, but also pay using Stripe. Hopefully that's the case. <laughs> but look at that, that's, that's the weight on the back. Definitely Stripes. Um, Okay, they've got that hole for that reset key. Very cool. Look at that weight. Looks like it's a brushed brass weight. The brushed brass provides sort of a sparkle in the finish. A sparkle in the finish that you won't see once you have the PCB in. If you zoom in on this picture, you can get a sense of the beauty. Let us look at... Let's go look at it. It does seem like it's more sparkly than other brushed brasses that I've seen. So yeah, Hidden Song says, this isn't bad. Different stripe colors would be nice. I would agree with you on that. But if it was different stripe colors, it would not match the brass. And I don't think you can color brass that easily. But check it out, guys. Um, Personally, my own feelings about this is it looks it looks way too simple. But before I talk about it more, how much does this cost? 
Let's see, it's a 6063 aluminum case, 3.1 pounds compatible with GH60. How much how much does, does this cost? Price. I want to see a price. Cost. Okay. Let's click on the IC form. Does the IC form give you a cost? Oh, here we go. Would you purchase this case for $189.99? For $189.99, a case like this is a steal. I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is a... Th this is a good deal. This is a good deal for $189.99. Just think about it. It's a 3.1 pound case. It's got a brass weight in it. Like, sure, it's tray mount, but this is probably the most I would ever spend on a tray mount case. Here, let's go look at the photos again. This is tray mount. Tray mount, standard 60%. Um, if you guys don't like how the tray mount feels, I would recommend getting PCBs with a flex cut in them, such as the Wilba WT60 Weird Flex that's currently on like Novel Keys right now. Yeah, check that out. The Key B, Key B60. Not a bad price, but keep in mind you will still have to pay shipping, so this is still over a $200 board. Interesting. Let's see. Avicity says Hex 3C is still better. <laughs> More attractive than the Clippa for that price range, I guess. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, next board. Next board is a board I don't know how to pronounce, but I'm just gonna call it the Oxali S80. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the most expensive board I have personally ever seen on Geek Hack. This one starts on August 14th, and this is a limited edition one. Guys, check out the price. Check out the price. It's it's like $700. Where's that price? Where is that price? Here we go. Oh, I was wrong. It is $800. $800 for a TKL. Look at that. It's got an internal brass weight, aluminum case. Like, I think the design looks good, but $800 is really expensive. I could buy, I could buy a lot of things with $800. <laughs> My word. Yeah, so the reason why it's that high is apparently because it's a very limited run, but Holy crap, $800, that is so much money. Oh look, black PVD polished SS weight, that's why. Specifications, wind keyless TKL, eight degree typing angle, seven screw top mount. Top mount for $800 is a hard sell, to be honest. But at least it has a QMK via compatible PCB, but this is one thing I always have to search for. Does it have ESD protection? Apparently it does not because I can't find anything on a quick search. No ESD protection, but at least it's got QMK and VIA. Let's see, FAQ, why the price is really expensive. It's hard to get cheap price when you're going in small number, especially for PVDSS. But the PVDSS is only the weight. So I wonder what percentage of the board the PVD SS weight reached, you know? See, can I take more than one board? Please be consider if you are submitting every color and when two of them can't cancel the other one. <laughs> Is there any other plate material for extra? ISO support, yes for sure. There are flex cutouts on the PCB. Raffle date estimated August 14th, 9 p.m. EDT estimated three months for shipping day. Very interesting. Disclaimer: We're not going with Salvin for this project since he's very busy to handle small number boards. Very interesting. This is who is running this? 
Nix Nixitheria. He has 209 posts and looks like he is from Southeast Asia. Very cool. Yeah, I am not a big fan of TKLs. So I will not be going in on this board. But if you guys have a cool $800 to like spend, feel free. <laughs> See, Scott Waters has the, the 7v PVD weight was close to 200. Oh boy, that's like half the board. If I remember, the, the 7v costs like 420. It's craziness. Holy cow. All right, guys. Assuming you all had the money, assuming you all had the money, which one of these boards would you guys most be interested in? That's the Kibi Stripe 60 or the Oxali S80 Limited Edition. Assuming you had the money, which of these two would you be most interested in? Idiot exception says, but 7v default comes with SS weight. Fox us the Oxali. Pass on both and wait for the Hive 60. <laughs> None says Snordax. Even if you had the money, you would not buy any of these boards. Nice. Oxali 80 in all three colors. Let's see. King Friday says the stripe. Float pilot says, if I had 800, I'd hit up <laughs> Mech Market. <laughs> no 65, no board. Jomi Carlos says, that's too much. Yeah, I know, right? Helping Lee says, if I had the money, I would get the Oxali and trade for something else. Let's see. Looks not bad. Yeah, um, if I had the money, if I had the money, actually, I think I would, I know I've said it on stream multiple times that I would not buy another tray mount board, but I have quite a few tray mounts that are like, it's like a $20 case, you know, like a $40 case. I think, I think this would be a good case to replace them. So I'd probably go for the KB60. You know? And I'm not a big TKL guy, and even if this was cheaper, I probably would not go for it. So, there's my answer. Hidden Song says, the ox would go up on the wall. Come on, there's only 10. <laughs> that is very true. All right, guys. That, that is all of the group buys that are ending and starting that I have researched. Does anyone in the audience, let's see, how, how many of you guys are there? There are 111 of you tonight. Have I missed any group buys that are ending this week? And have I missed any group buys that are starting this week? Please, please, please send me a message here on Twitch and I will go through it and make sure it is appropriate for stream sharing. <laughs> Prime Time says, what are you drinking tonight? You can always find out what I'm drinking by doing the exclamation point drink command. But tonight I'm drinking ginger beer. Bundaberg ginger beer from Australia. Look at that, one of my favorite ginger beers. Let's see, oh, I have a message from Static Age. Let's see what Static Age sent me. Oh, okay. Let me just verify that that link. Let's see. Okay, looks like Static Age sent me something on what? This is not a keyboard, dude. <laughs> this is not a keyboard. Or maybe you sent me the wrong thing. But yeah, this this is not a keyboard, so I'm not gonna show it. <laughs> the primetime127 sent me something. All right, let's see. What 
What did Prime Time send me? Okay, yeah, please, please send me a link so I can just click on it. Yeah, I think um static static age sent me something else on his on his paste buffer. What the, what did you send me? I'm not going to disclose what you sent me on stream. Cause it would ruin your reputation. <laughs> right. Prime time, thanks for the link. Let me put that up. Okay, this one is from Prime Time123. And yeah, this is a good one, guys. This is the Idobao ID80 V2. If you guys caught any of my previous streams, I built one of these for myself. I built the V1, so now the V2 is back, and that is a whole lot more money than the V1 sold for. But yeah, this is a integrated 75% board with the keys exploded out, so the arrow keys, na nav keys, and fro are all separated from the rest of the keyboard, like so. It is also integrated plate. And the V2 looks to be underglow compatible, and there is a weight. That was not present on the V1. Def definitely not present on the V1. Okay. And... I don't think that USB-C port was like that on the V1 as well. It, yeah, this is 199 that we posted in chat so you guys can all click on it. But yeah, it's it's been a cool board so far. The only thing I really disliked about it was it was so echoey. Every time I typed on it, it would just ping all over the place. So yeah, check this board out if you're interested. This one seems to be ending... When is this ending? To the August 21th. <laughs> um, so that's not actually ending this week. This is ending later on. I will keep this in my buffer. <laughs> Ooh, I got a bunch of people messaging me. All right, I'm going to go through all of these one by one. Let's see, I got something from XBash. Yeah, I'll just talk about who who I'm processing right now. Come on. So Xbash sent me... Why are you sending me a, a tweet? What is this? Okay, um, pl please send me a link to an actual IC or a group buy. Okay. We're gonna go with KR1027. What did you send me? Ah, this one. The disarray. I don't think the disarray is, is ending yet, is it? Pretty sure it's not. Let me just verify the date. The disarray ends sep September 5th, I believe, okay. So we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Okay, let's look at what Korean Guru sent me. Karu, Korean Guru sent me... Let's look at this link. Ah, the Heavy Nine. That's a good one. Let's talk about this Heavy Nine here. $545, another extremely expensive board. Let's see, you've got, oh my word, Veracity Steel is 1,475. <laughs> Holy cow. <gasps> oh my word. That is insane. <clears throat> All right, looks, it is being offered for pre-order until August 24th. Okay, that's, that's not, next week that's not next next week yet either okay so let's let's just ignore that for now let's go on to the next person let's see who's this yeah when when did this start pre-order until august 24 did that start this week Oh, 
Ah, oh, well, this one's going until until the 24th. Oh, Korean Guru says today. Ah, okay, this started today, guys. That's why. You can you can do the steel one for 1,475, or if you are not mega rich but just rich, you can do the heavy nine Royal Winkle and K2 for only a small small amount of money, five hundred and forty-five dollars. Currently, you can also do acoustic dampening or no acoustic dampening for an additional thirty bucks. Yeah, I, I do have to say this is a very beautiful board, but that price is also not very, very beautiful. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I got someone else. Who's next here? Iwanu. Let's go look at what you sent me here. You sent me... Ah, yes. Let me look at this. This one is ending this week. Another item ending this week. Not a keyboard, not a key set. But switches! Pinoco switches on monokay.co. I believe we talked about this a few weeks ago. This one is ending on August 15th. And I just realized I keep forgetting to post links, man. Merlin, what's up with you? There we go. This one. And here, let me... Post the Norbauer one too, because I forgot to that, forgot to do that one. But Pinoco switches are basically just I think these are just J JWKs with that look pink, polycarb housing, 65G spring, palm stem, polycarb housing, hundred pieces for 85 SGD. What is 85 SGD? 85 SGD to USD is $61.92. So for 100 pieces, 61 bucks. That's that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Pretty cool. Designed by Okonomiyaki. Group by closest August 15th. So get get in on this if you guys want it. Um, not sure if he's got any proxies, but Monoke is all the way in Singapore. Why would you have a drop down for, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this. Oh yeah, you guys can't see this on stream, but if you look at the top right, there's an account. You can click on the drop box and it'll allow you to select stuff, but you can only select SGD. <laughs> All right, let's check out. Oh, looks like he sent me another link as well. Let's see, what's this? So in addition to the Pinoco switches, apparently there's the Oko Okomochi switches, also ending on August 15th. These are slightly heavier at 67G. So the previous one, the Pinoco were 65G, these are 67G. Um, this one's also different. Palm stem and nylon housing, unlike the 65G polycarb housing. Very interesting. This one is also about 61 US dollars for, for 100 pieces. Group buy closes August 15th. Definitely check this place out. Fox has link. Sorry, man. Keep forgetting all that. There we go. Very cool. Okay, who is the next person who sent me a message? Go look at Jomi Carlos. Alright, Jomi Carlos, what did you send me? What did you. Ah, this one. Very important board, very famous board in our community right now. This is the KBD67 Mark II on KBD fans. Right there. That is also ending on August 15th. If you guys are looking for a fairly decent 65% board and have $235 to, to spare, you can purchase this from KBD fans in the following colors. Also polycarb apparently. You got black, silver, gray, e-white, rose gold, all that good stuff. Really pretty. Rose gold actually looks really great on this. Hopefully the finish 
in person will do it justice. Very cool. Yeah, 235, man, that's... I feel like I bought mine for 180 back in November. I guess prices have just gone up. We'll see, but yeah. If you guys are interested, KBD fans is ending a group buy for the KBD67 and for the KBD8X Mark II. Both of them expiring on August 15th. All right, thank you so much again, Joe Carlos. Let's see who's next. Static Age, back again. Hopefully you sent me the correct link. Let's see. Is this the correct one this time? Ah, okay. Yes, this one I can post <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> There, this one is ending in seven days, basically in like one week. So this time next week, this key set on drop will be expiring. Static Age is just sending his OnlyFans to Merlin. Here we go. This is an XDA Dice PBT keycap set, white on black for 80 bucks. Check it out, guys. If you are looking for a white on black set with a flat profile and something similar to, to DSA, this might be the key set to buy. 80 bucks. See, so you can get a B-Box 60 keyboard case. I guess that's where you put your case in. Desk mats for 20 and a t-shirt for 25. Very interesting. Pretty cool. Like, I kind of like it. I'm a big fan of, of the XDA profile. So, you know, I might jump in on this. We'll see. Let's see. Shipping. Okay, estimated ship date is October 26, 2020. That is not a bad. That's not bad at all. Very cool. Yeah. Like, like, look at this. This is a $30 keyboard case. That's kind of like, I don't know, if you were building all your Gundam sets, it's like putting this together like that. <laughs> that's that's really cool. That is really cool, but I, I have a feeling it might sound extremely hollow. But dang, that's 30 bucks. I can spare 30 bucks. I can buy 30 bucks. Hidden song says advisory. Use glue when building this. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Hey, look! Look at this keycap set. It's how much does it cover? Okay, there's the sixty percent. There's the TKL. There's a numpad. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter in terms of row because XDA is a uniform flat profile. So yeah, I'd say this pretty much supports all layouts from the looks of it. Does it support Sangin? Yeah, I think it does. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty cool. Thank you for sending this my way, Static Age, and I'm glad you finally got the right link. <laughs> all right. Next guy who sent me a link here is xbash001. Ah, uh, okay. He's explaining how to click on links here. Let me figure it out here. It's all in Japanese. I can't read Japanese. And there's a screenshot of a... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to show this one quite yet. Like, the information is all spread out too much. It's hard to, like, decipher. Sorry, X-Bash. Alright, who's next? Primetime127 sending me another link. Let's see, here we go. Ah, this one right here, the Protozoa 65% kit. This one is expiring on August 12th. Woohoo! And let me put that link in there. There we go. If you guys are interested in this kit and 
of 227 to spare. This might be the board to get. Oh, it looks like you could upgrade the wedge for a little bit more money. An additional PCB. So is that an additional PCB or the included PCB? Interesting. Zoomwalt says, do you cover interest checks too or just GBs? I only like to cover group buys that are ending and starting for the following week. Because if I covered interest checks, I'd probably be here for another two hours. I'm actually thinking of doing an, an, a, a separate segment to talk about interest checks, but maybe maybe just like my top five. That's my favorite for the week. Just because there's there, there is way too much. There's there's way too much. I feel like I feel like on any given week we get at least 40 interest checks. So, you know, it's just not it's not feasible to do all 40 of them. <laughs> Right, hidden song subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Let's see, but yeah, this is the PO2 65% kit for the discipline from Cozy Fanatuti. You have until August 12th to purchase this. All the good stuff. All right, who's next? After prime time, the next person we've got here is Jackie Train. What did Jackie Train send me? Jackie Train sent me a link to the KBD67 V2, which we already covered. So we'll be skipping that. Who's next after Jackie Train? Who is next? We are gonna do Bag of Olives, all right. Ooh, okay, what is this? Sure. It is a Reddit post. Here, I'll just post that in chat as well. This is called the Duckboard Numpad Kid with 18 keys, OLED, and rotary encoder. Okay, let's let's see some pictures here. I want to see pictures. There are no pictures. Oh wait, here we go. White duckboard. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. I I want it. <laughs> okay, I am definitely gonna have to pick up this board. Um let's look at the black one really quick. The black duckboard. Yeah, that that looks pretty darn good. Like that's a rotary encoder and OLED. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Okay, how much? How much is this? Three layers. Pro micro and QMK support. KL hot swap sockets. Ah. Through hole diodes. OLEDs. $23 per kit and $10 for shipping? Holy crap. Does, the, does that 23 actually include all the components? Probably not. But okay, here, this is this is my one complaint about this kit. Check it out. Um, this looks to be a, a DIY kit, right? So I'm gonna I'm just gonna assume that these kale these kale hot top sockets are something you're gonna have to solder on yourself. Um, if you're gonna solder these on yourself, he might as well have done a regular PCB and just given people the option to use Milmax sockets instead. Like, you guys don't know what Milmax sockets are. It's these things right here. These fit in your standard PCB and makes your board into a hot swap board. Um, if he's gonna make people solder these sockets in anyway, why not just go this route? Right? If it's all the same soldering to to you, might as well solder in actual good sockets rather than the kale hot swap ones. In fact, I think the kale hot swap ones might be harder to solder than these guys right here. 
but other than that this is probably a board I'm gonna buy especially for 23 bucks and I thought I saw in chat earlier someone said two, two, 200 units for the first round these are gonna go really quick I'd probably say within a minute or two if, if lucky Let's see thank you so much bag of olives for sending that my way Let's see, who's next? Who is next? All right, Xbash finally found a link for me, awesome. Thanks man, let me just verify that. Here we go. This is called JTK Tianwen. Tianwen, I guess. In celebration of the first Asian rover to Mars, order opens from What's this? August 8th, 2020. Order at JTK Discord. Estimated price, keycaps, full kit. That's, that's a JTK kit. I think that's pretty good. Not bad at all. I like it. If anyone got the, got the Space 65, this might be a good key set for it. Let's Let's go see. Any more information about this? Any... Like, it sucks having to have to go to a Discord server just to join a group buy. Like, I'd, I'd prefer that people don't have to do that. Let's see. Any more information? No information other than that photo at the very beginning. Hmm, okay, let's see. Oh, here we go. He put all the information in the title, I see. So, keycaps full kit is about $105 to $110. I, I don't get it. Base 30? Base what? Is that the base alpha? And the mat is 15. See, Hidden Song says, you can buy this on the actual site, but it's non-English, so I couldn't read it. Unfortunate unfortunate but yeah I I do kind of like this colorway hopefully I can change that spacebar out to the same color as, as the alpha the jizzy says discord is the new email newsletter yeah it's it's confusing does anyone know what board this is that's a very oddly shaped USB port King Friday says, it looks exactly the same as the one in drop, but not black. Ah, okay, so the case, the case is 30. Okay. Interesting. So the keycap set is 105 to 110. The, the base, which is this keyboard that you're seeing here is 30, and the mat is 15. Very interesting. very interesting indeed and guys i just realized this might be the first stream in which i finished all of the group by news and i'm not done with my drink guess i just wasn't as thirsty tonight as i usually am Let's see x bash says merlin in the twitter pic there are more images all right let's go let's go bring out this twitter there we go. I think this is it. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Yes. Look at that space bar. It is non-colored. I like it when it's non-colored like that. Okay, it's got novelties right here. You got you got your numpad, you've got your extras and your accent spacebar and enter keys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's see, what else can we see here? Ah, here we go. That's that DIY case. That's pretty cool. That is so cool. 
I'm going to have to get one of these, to be honest. <laughs> I really wonder how this case is, is like going to sound. I, It looks like it's going to be super hollow and super reverby, but I guess we'll see when it actually comes in. Cool beans. Let's see, what other photos in here? Okay, oh, look at that. The NASA 2020 novelty cap. Very cool. Very cool indeed. See, Hidden Song said, comes with the case stand too. Very cool. Idemon says, I'm late to the party, but did you go over, over to Cyberspace Burger 60 case yet? Yes, I did. Dub Sedan is, whole point of these cases is easy color matching. Otherwise, they're probably just going to be kind of overpriced ABS cases. Yeah, I guess if you're, if you're just trying to find display keyboards, I guess, this would be a good case to do. Very cool. Well, thank you once again, Static Age, for sending this my way, to, and to everyone who, everyone who sent me links. Thank you so much. Like I said, there are way too many group buys starting and ending for the week that it's hard to keep track of everything. Even when you're on like the Mech Keeps Discord or on the, what's this Discord called? It's called the Mech Group Buys Discord. It's still really hard to keep track of everything. All right, guys, um, I always have to end this with, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's already 24 hours past, so group buys might have already ended or started. So if you want, please try to catch this live every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. PST. Sir Captain Salty says, I have like 40 keyboards, discords. You noob, I'm on 60. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, King Friday says a case that may fall apart on you if you type too hard. A better player says not covering NK65. Is the NK65 starting next week? Is it? If it is, please send me links. Please send me links here. Let's see, someone just sent me something. Here, let's go look. Let's go look. This is from, this is from Go, Go, Go Roo TV. Let's see, is this a board that is ending or starting this week? Or a key set? Okay, yeah, if I have to hunt for this information, I'm probably not gonna post it quite yet. I don't know if this is starting or ending this week. Not, not seeing it. Okay. Well, I, I will not be posting that then. GoGoRu TV, please, please send me the relevant information as well so I'm not having to hunt through it. Very cool. A better player says, starting at 9 a.m. PDT. Cool, Um, what date? Better player, you can send me a message here on Twitch. So 9 a.m. PDT of what date? Tomorrow? Hidden Song says, I'm not far behind at 57 channels. Dragstar says the 10th. Okay. NK65. Let's go look that up. I don't think that the links are actually up yet so that... Novel, I think Novel Keys is trying to avoid any bots, but yeah, we'll talk about the NK65 here. Apparently, it is going up on 9 a.m. PDT on the 10th, August 10th. T better player says tomorrow. Sorry. Okay. Yep, that is indeed tomorrow. Um, do you know if it is the aluminum version or the budget version or both versions? And is it going to be the purple poly or is it going to be the white one that he's been talking about? 
Gogoru TV, thank you. Only NK65 is out tomorrow. Alu is out tomorrow. Okay, let's go look for the Alu version. NK65 aluminum. Here we go. It is this version right here that is coming out tomorrow at 9 a.m. If this is a board that you like. Oh, look. It comes in black and silver. Very cool. $185. That is a lot pricier than when I bought mine. I think I bought mine for $145. Bucks. At $185, I think, I think this is still a good buy. But it's starting to cut through other, other more expensive, other better boards out there. Very cool. Let's see. Yeah, this, this board comes with a VIA compatible PCB. Got in-switch RGB lighting, USB-C support. It is a hybrid tray mount slash top mount. Or tray, tray mount. Yeah, tray mount slash top mount keyboard. And if you put enough foam in it, it will actually sound good. The one thing that I have to say about this board is it still does not have ESD protection. I've been told that future revisions will have ESD protection, but this one will not. Let's see, who else is messaging me here? Idemond, I already covered that last week. All right, guys. Last call, Any anyone else wanting to send me links about group ice, anything keyboard related that is ending or starting this coming week, this coming seven day time period. Static Age says, I'll let you know if the new white PCB has ESD now. Um, it does not Static Age. Have I covered the Jelly 60? No, I have not. Send me the links. Send me the links. If you don't send me the links and the relevant info, I will probably not get to it. <laughs> All right. Well, if no one's sending me links now, Let's see, I have been missing quite a few shout outs here. Hold on, let me pull this out. Gogoru TV, please send me the links. Ah, okay, I see what you mean. Well, that sucks. All right. Well, I'm I'm going to do a few shout outs before I go here because it's with, with all the stuff happening. It's hard to see everyone here, but I just wanted to thank Genyu Saihan for following Jose Saclon, Luke Y, Hidden Song, Red John, Die Crunch, Merseyside Red Nine. DJ Ben, Alex, Dog Rat, Lucha for following all of you guys. Tran, thanks for subscribing. BRB Toast, sub thank you for subscribing as well. Thank you, everyone. All right. Let's see. I think this is a good time to end. And Clavier is saying good morning. Clavier, you are literally joining in at the tail end of my stream. <laughs> and no, I have still not received that sword. I am waiting. I am checking the mail. And still, still nothing from you, man. So hopefully it will come this following week. Who knows? At least send me like a tracking number so I can keep an eye out for it. But yeah, anyway, thank you everyone for joining in. This has been a great time. It keeps me on my toes as to what's happening out there as well. So thank you everyone for joining in and listen to me talk about all group buys ending and starting for the following week. If you guys want to watch more of my content, definitely hit me up on YouTube. My next stream will be this coming Tuesday in which I'll be talking about how to get a board into QMK and into VIA. So if you're looking for more of a tutorial-like stream, definitely tune in Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. And I've, I keep promising people that I am going to raid 
at the end of my stream. So if I am just going to check who is streaming right now, hopefully there are some keyboard content guys or girls and we will go raid them. Or if anyone in the audience actually has recommendations, I would greatly appreciate that as well. Let's see, who's on, who's on? Who is on tonight? Ah, everything's so slow. Let's see, ah, I haven't seen him in a while. Tyson Builds. Tyson Builds hasn't been online for a while, I think. So Tyson is one of the, I know him best because I met him in Texas during one of the keyboard meetups, but he's most well known in the community for doing Seracote. So yeah, let's, let's go raid him. Raid a channel, raid a channel. Let's see, Tyson is building Holy Chickies, a Singa rebuild after dark. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to raid this guy. Once again, thank you everyone for joining in. Hope you guys enjoy his show and have a good rest of your evening and a good start of your week. Let's see, is that going? Is that going? Is that raiding yet? <laughs> Feel like that's not picking it up quite yet. What the heck? <laughs> See, bacon and tuna says. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. Yeah, for some reason, Twitch isn't letting me raid him. Let's try again. What? Third time's a, tr a charm, right? Start raid. Please work. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's happening. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>